Hey, you guys. I'm trying to figure out how none of y'all told me that Lloyd is out here turning into a whole sex symbol. Like, I thought we were friends. It's cool. I forgive you. We're going to get back to all of this later. Let's get back to regular scheduled programming. <laughs> it's ICI Candy back with another video. Happy Thanksgiving. Or by now, it's belated Thanksgiving. How was your Thanksgiving? This video is going to be a little different. I have the topic that I want to talk about, which is the face off Millennium Tour 2020 and a few jokes. Then I've got a little bit on J Bug, Little Fizz, and that sad story. <laughs> and I'm going to include a little vlog footage from Thanksgiving. But first, smash the like button, comment down below how your Thanksgiving was. And last but not least, subscribe. We about to get right into it. Yeah. I know that you don't need me. It's kind of sexy when I want it, but you tease me. And you don't let them get inside of your head. Cause you know when I leave, I'll be back to your bed. Cause girl, we got a good thing. So I can't let them fuck this up ready for wedding ranks. One of a kind, glad your mind's such a blessing. Okay, guys, let's get right into it. So, you already know that Millennium Tour 2020 is popping off very soon, right? And we already know that a couple of the B2K band members are oh so salty. Rightfully so, though. It looks like because of April and Fizz's drama, you all know that Omarion decided to cut B2K from Millennium Tour 2020. Check it out how J Bug feels about this whole thing. No more. It's crazy. All right, so moving on, man. It's a great year. We got some things going on. And uh, Fizzle Pop ruined everything. Um, I wouldn't say he ruined everything, but about 99% of it, though. Um, <laughs> <laughs> J Bug got big jokes. Let's hear that one more time. January, February, March, April. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck. Fizzle Pop ruined everything. Um, I wouldn't say he ruined everything, but about 99% of it, though. About 99% of it, though. January, February, March, April. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck. Fuck Okay, guys, you heard that. J-Bug is not here for any of it, okay? He's not feeling that this man, Teeny Fizzle Pop, is messing up his money. He's not here for it. That's a whole check he lost because of this guy right here. So it just is f up, man. 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 Truthfully, Teeny Fizzle Pop, there's nobody to blame but yourself. You are the reason that everything is all messed up. You decided to chase April instead of chasing your bag. That is a major no-no. Should have thought about that beforehand. But enough about that. I'm so tired about talking about Teeny Fizzle Pop. Let's talk about Millennium Tour 2020 and who we got in the lineup. We got Ying Yang to win. Next up, we got Lloyd. Next up on the list, we got Sammy. Next up, we got your favorite freaky boy group. And you already know we can't forget about Soldier Boy. Hey. And then, of course, yours truly, the two headliners, Omarion and Bow Wow. In my arms, in my mind. As you know, they teamed up when they were younger for the smash hit, Let Me Hold You, and now they're back at it again for this tour as grown men, and it is going to be mayhem. Bow Wow, if you remember, didn't do this other tour because he's being a little brat. He wanted all this special treatment. He wanted all these elaborate things, but I think this is going to be great. So look at the lineup, guys. We got a few people that are going to keep it so lit can we agree that this tour looks like it's going to be lit it feels sort of nostalgic because you're gonna get so many memories so 
Are you going to Millennium Tour 2020? Let me know in the comments below. Maybe we can link up and go together. You know what I'm saying? I want to go. You want to go. Let's go. You really never know. We're just all getting to know each other. So you never know who you meet. You never know what happens. All I know is I would love to be able to go. I'd love to be able to grab some good footage so I could bring it back here. And if you couldn't go, I'd love to be able to show you guys. So let me know if you guys are going to go to the Millennium Tour 2020. All right, guys, if you made it this far, then I will show you the rest of the footage from Thanksgiving at Ruth Chris with my friends. I'll show you what we ate and you can decide if it is something that you would like to do on Thanksgiving one year. Maybe you don't want to cook and entertain a whole group of people. Maybe next year you and your friends or maybe you and your family want to go out and just kind of leave the hassle to all the people at the restaurant. If that's what you'd like to do, Keep on watching, take a look, and kind of just see what me and my friends ended up doing. It is a little vlog footage. Hopefully you enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe. You can also turn on those post notifications too. Feel free to comment down below and tell me what you guys did for your Thanksgiving break. I'm always happy to hear it. All right? Hope you enjoy the rest of this video. It's Thank you, guys. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. So... I've never been to Ruth Chris. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Ruth Chris for Thanksgiving, but we decided that we are going to go to Ruth Chris for Thanksgiving. And we're going to do it early, too. Okay, you guys, this is us just driving on our way to Ruth Chris. Again, this was nothing we had planned. This was just on a whip. We just got up and were like, you know what? Let's go grab a quick bite to eat at Ruth Chris for Thanksgiving and just see how it is. So this is us going in. Okay, it's so pretty in here. I love it. Now, this steakhouse salad is bomb.com. Do you hear me? This pomegranate martini is delicious. You gotta try it. The steakhouse salad and the pomegranate martini is a must have. Now, this was my first time trying the turkey um, and stuffing, and I will say it was okay. It was good. It was really, really good. It just, it's a little different than what I'm used to because I'm not really a turkey person. Um, but we did have a little bit of the steak, and the steak is always good. We love seeing that sizzle on the plate and cook. Ooh, Ruth Chris never fails with a good steak. You already know that. But enough of Thanksgiving. I want you guys to tell me what you think is the best restaurant to go to if you're going to go to a restaurant on Thanksgiving and you decide you don't want to cook. Let me know in the comments below. And I'll do you one better. I'm going to end off with Millennium Tour footage, lineup footage. I can't get enough of seeing these guys. So I hope you enjoy. Bye bye. I know that you don't need me. It's kind of sexy when I want it, but you tease me. And you don't let them get inside of your head. Cause you know when I leave, I'll be back to your bed. Cause girl, we got a good thing. So I can't let them fuck this up ready for wedding rings. One of a kind, glad your mind's such a blessing. Future baby mama, if you're ready. You know that I would do it, so don't test me. Looking sexy. You bring out the best me, they gon' copy. Shoutin' you the best I've ever had by far. So I'ma treat you better than your last by far. No. Okay, I did say I was gonna get back to this though. Can we get an applause one time for Lloyd looking as sexy as ever? Check him out. I added this at the end just for you. <laughs> Just because we haven't seen Lloyd in a while, and I figured that if any of you guys are loyal fans of Lloyd, you may enjoy seeing this. Catch you guys in the next video. But now I walk, nah, nah. First class, never flat coach, nah, nah. Girl, you get the best. I don't see the rest, you know. Shouting you the best I've ever had thus far. So I'ma treat you better than you. Follow me on. I have my Twitter, my Instagram, which I'm going to drop here for you, and my Snapchat. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. Bye-bye. I leave, I'll be back to your bed. Cause girl, we got a good thing. So I can't let them fuck this up ready for wedding ranks. One of a kind, glad you're mine.